Hello, this is Daniel and welcome to part 7 of the character modeling tutorial. And let's continue with our work where we left off. So, well, let's just continue with the neck for now, even though there are a few things I'd actually like to fix up here. But for now, let's, let's just live with that. It's not too big of a deal. And we can still go back and do that later on. Alright. Okay. Except, you know, a few things that I just want to change. So, for example, try to keep the, the density of vertices approximately the same, or else you'll have a visible line in the model. Now, let's go to here and continue. Mm. All right. Now to work our uh, our way along the neck, let's start by extruding this edge here, like this, and connecting it simply. Now we'll do some subdivisions here and adjust those no, uh, new vertices. So that's the way I like to do these kind of things. Uh, that allows you to approach um, the shape you want to reach uh, very easily and have lots of control about it while not having too many vertices to keep um, keep in mind to have in control, more or less. So, okay, now the challenge we have today is closing this part here, I guess. Um, let's start with, yeah, let's connect this part here first. Um, of course you'll have to disable clipping again if you want to extrude from the middle. Um, this is not easy. Let's try it, no this is not good. Let's still do one more loop here. The next, uh, the next one will go down here like that. So this is where that one irregular uh, connection is going to be. Now you can just simply connect those and uh, make two subdivisions in here, and then fill this up. Always be careful not to select everything in the back, so you won't get any weird faces connect that inside of the head, and that should be alright. Um, now, of course, make sure from other views this is again really at the right position and not off somewhere where we don't want it to be. And then continue to work about here. Now. All you do is more or less, again, creating a grid of points that form the shape. Um, I think it's the best if you try to uh, stick with the lowest amount of um, vertices needed to describe the shape that you want to create. Because the more vertices you have, the harder it is to control them. And you still want to have as much as possible detail, but also at, uh, the highest possible accuracy. And you have to find the right um, mix between those two, I guess. Um, yeah, but but you know you can also, yeah. As I said, you have to have the right mix because having just a few vertices can also be bad because uh, if you don't have enough detail again, that is also a problem because you won't be able to. Um, create the the kind of shape that you need and no one will recognize it. Now this loop here will be the first one to go around the neck so let's go ahead and um, set this one up right away so we won't be able to change anything about that. By doing, th uh, by doing it like this um, you kind of put yourself waypoints, uh, places you have to um, 
go through in your uh, model which is a good thing because it helps you organize your mesh and keep it clean um, in terms of yeah again topology something I already talked about a lot in this uh, series and as you can see while I'm putting those into place I'm always uh, looking at these other edges and trying to align it at least in some way um, it's not always possible to find something every, uh, both sides are happy with but that's why you then start editing either one of these sides too because in the end they have to match actually it looks like we're going to make it um, to finish this entire part with um, you know without any triangles just quads which, which is a good thing I don't very often uh, make it so far but normally w once I get um, to the body I sometimes give up that rule as well so yeah don't worry too much Yeah, now just let's simply connect this part here. Alright, um, we are done now with this and sorry for skipping through this much of information this time. I kind of got carried away and I was quite concentrated in fixing these areas. But um, let me give you a look here uh, at what I changed and how it looks now so you can follow along. Um, by the way, something you might like, if you click on this icon here, you'll get the edges uh, displayed smooth in edit mode. Which is a cool feature, I think, for showing it off. And you will also be able to see the topology better that way, I think. So, yeah, take a look at it. Um, the main thing I wanted to get in here is um, get this loop uh, to go around here. It's it's really not perfect. There There is really some messed up parts still in there, but it's better than earlier. You see this, this area here? looks very smooth now and it doesn't um, have this weird edge in there anymore which was the main reason why I wanted to fix it now yeah let's let's continue 
or actually no <laughs> I think that's enough for today again <laughs> um, yeah so let's leave this model as it is uh, here and let's continue working on more of this character uh, in the next video thank you for watching as always see you next time